All right, comments. Da, da, da. Tony Begg, legend. That's useful for him. I'm glad. If you don't know Tony, Tony does, he's got a lot of great insights and he leaves a lot of great comments in the, the comment section. So thanks, Tony, just for sticking around and listening to me. I listen to you. Ah, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Glenn Payne says Bitvo, the story we're just talking about, is fintech regulated as straight as you can get. Interesting. Very interesting. So, you know, if, if they do something like that, that's a lot of paperwork. That's a lot of a lot of minutia to go through just to get that, that expansion. But hey, FTX is doing exactly what they said they're gonna do. We're gonna expand, we're gonna move into Canada, and they'll probably go to EU and they're gonna who knows they just take over. <laughs> FTX is shady, just a gut feeling. Here's my thoughts, Twisted. You're right. I think everybody's shady in this industry. And it's why you should treat everything as a scam until proven otherwise. If you do that, you're gonna be a lot safer. Even me. If you're listening to me and that's the only information you get, you're not doing it right. You gotta go someplace else. I could just be full of it just like everybody else. So make sure that you back up my data with what, or the things that I say with other data points. So you're like, okay, I trust Rob. Charlie Sheen was winning. <laughs> Arcane says, don't care about dollars is worthless. I gotta tell you, dollars still work out pretty well, especially if you want to be anonymous. Very hard to track dollar transactions. Just saying. Oh. All right. The U.S. refuses to bring clarity to crypto to put their bank system. That's true. I'd like to see that, uh, but that's uh, not happening. Yeah, so this is the same thing that I think about. Michael says, let me get this banner out of here. Everyone says that we have, oh, that's right, further downside. It is not time to look at this being the bottom or close to it, opposite of what uh, the herd is saying. This is one of the things that I think about when I'm doing these investments because you know you always try to stay away from the herd because it, so sometimes you get that herd mentality and then they just go a little bit uh, too, too far on one side. And that's the one thing of why I haven't totally stopped dollar cost averaging just because of that. I've only just slowed it down. And uh, it's a good thing to say. Live stream the Alex. And no, I'll let, I'm not going to live stream their stuff. Very true. Tommy says cash is king in a bear market. Yeah, especially if you want to buy up properties, which I think are going to crash pretty pretty soon. <laughs> Herds are poor for a reason. Uh, question from Matt. Rob, do you like the idea of starting to average into Riot and Mara at these levels? I don't see why not. Now, we're talking about the uh, Bitcoin mining operation, Riot and Mara. I actually own Mara. I just never sold it. Um, I don't see what could be the problem. Now, if you listen to, to the, the thought process of Kevin O'Leary, he says that Riot and Mara are going to go down the tubes because they're not ESG compliant, which I think is a bunch of nonsense anyhow. All that stuff is just... Deutsche Bank, a month ago, one of their offices got raided uh, because of a tip-off because they were saying that their clients were ESG compliant and they really weren't. And uh, that caused it. And we know it's funny. I, I think I was like one of the very only ones that are actually, I didn't hear anybody else talk about it. This just happened a month ago. Their CFO st uh, stepped down. I don't like it. But um, Kevin O'Leary seems to think that that's the big driving factor and they're going to go out of business because of the ESG. Sure. Scribben says, do you, what the heck? Scribben says, SC Brin you have any funds in Celsius? I had 3% of my portfolio in Celsius, as a matter of fact. So I have a rule, and I'm going to put these. I have these five rules, and I wrote them down right here. And I'm going to put those. Let me show you. Ah, let me get this out of here. See where it says Dan will never contact you? I'm going to put the five rules, my five golden rules, uh, which is everything's a scam, no leverage, Zero to 3% on any one centralized exchange. 
take profits, and then realize that everything you invest is probably all gone, which means don't invest more than you can afford to lose. I need to fit those five bullet points right here so on every single stream, people can know exactly where I think things should be. And those will be my golden rules from now. Uh, the question, Robbie said you had 3% doesn't mean you were able to pull it off. No. So I did the video on Sunday around 11 a.m. And then uh, I got done with that. And then I had to go do some things for some other businesses. I met some friends for lunch. Then when I got back home, I'm like, I had it on my to-do list. And I did not do it. So right now, it's still on Celsius. So I have 3%. However, the big thing you have to understand here, is 3% going to kill me? No. What would kill me is if I had every single amount of crypto, my life savings, and everything on Celsius, which is in lockdown for five days now. That would have killed me. And it would kill, and it would have been pretty painful. 3%, not so big of a deal. I would like to have that back, though. That would be great. But do you see those, why I have those rules in place? Because if I have 3% there and I have 3% in Voyager and I have 3% in Kraken or whatever else, so I got like 9% on some exchanges, who cares? And I got, some, I got most of it on a ledger, which I possess, not bad. Now, the, what's the optimal thing? Put everything on, an, on a ledger. Yeah, I'm just kind of lazy. Sometimes I don't do it. Huh. Flare. Gatsby fees is launching on July 4th. We'll see how that. I have heard of this is the XRP drop, right? Flare. I've been hearing about that for a year or so. Maybe it's gonna be awesome. What do I know? I don't know. <laughs> Rule number two, be responsible. Yeah. That'd be nice. Emmanuel, be careful out there. Buy Ethan Bitcoin. Probably 10K is the buy. Why not 8K? Why not 5K? I don't know. I have half of my Bitcoin in Celsius. Eesh. I bet you won't do that again. And you know what? I was talking to James about this yesterday. And I, yeah, yesterday I said, you know, these are these things that happen right now. Imagine in a world where the market cap is $10 trillion and uh, all your money is in one centralized place. And you had lived all the way through all these different problems. And you have, you know, you are, your savings is secured. You are set and ready to retire. You're just a week away from telling your boss to stick it and just, you know, quit. And then everything gets rug pulled. And you're like, oh man, if I just would have taken it off of this platform, maybe these things have to happen. So you and other people, can be evangelists for when the next bull run comes. And I got these stupid crypto bros telling me that I'm shell-shocked because of 2021 or 2017. You can back me up and go, no, I was there in 2022 when Celsius shut everything down and we, and we essentially lost everything for a while. And of course, history will see where we go from here. But I need people like you to back me up so they can understand the things and the wrong things and the right way to do stuff. So that's all. What are we stacking? Bitcoin. Bitcoin and cash. I'm waiting to buy some houses as soon as they start to peel off. Thoughts on Vulcan Forge? You questioned Alex of Sales when he said about all time hand of the year. He was saying thus to fool the market. Yeah, I had Alex on a month, two months ago, and he was talking on Kitco about how we're going to hit all-time highs at the end of the year. And I played that the interview, and I came back, and I just said, Al, come on. Come on. You don't believe that, do you? He's like, yeah, all-time highs. And then I also asked him, I'm going to play something for you because I have it available. I asked him some questions about Terra. And maybe in the comments in the live stream, you can ask him this. This is about a minute or so. And uh, I was asking him these questions. Uh, here you go. This is after the Luna blow up. Look, we, we, we have USD and Luna listed in our wallets. And when people give us uh, 
USD, we stake it to earn the rewards, just like you would do yourself, right? So we do it on behalf of our community. The difference between doing it yourself and us doing it for you is that we monitor it 24-7. And when we started seeing a DPEG, we pulled everything out and mm -hmm. we did that on behalf of our community. And again, we should get a badge of honor, uh, a medal. <laughs> or my team, my, my security team, my risk team should get a medal for being one of the first to pull out all that, uh, all these coins out of those protocols. Yeah. So I know like you, you talked about, you said that you guys had invested into uh, in Terra and uh, you'd have been you know, probably getting some yield. When did you guys just decide or look at it and go, you know what, this doesn't look, this isn't good. We need to get out of here. So first we never invested in Terra. Okay. Uh, Jump, three arrow capital, uh, Galaxy invested in Terra. Celsius has never invested in Terra. I posted several tweets. Celsius Network posted several tweets debunking the FUD that Celsius somehow gave loans to Terra or invested in Terra. We don't do that. That's not our business. Yeah. So, and then I will say this: there was a, a thread we had we had take, taken a look at yesterday from Plan C, and the big thing was. The, Alex actually was right. Jump Capital, Galaxy Digital, and a couple other ones, Three Arrows Capital, they were trying to back UST so it wouldn't collapse. But uh, Celsius said, no, we're not going to do that. And we're going to try to pr protect our community and went out. Unfortunately, when you do that, you leave other people holding the bag. Maybe they got a little ticked off and uh, here we are now. So, but there is some, again, watch the uh the, the ama that's coming up in 10 minutes so go from there and that's it <laughs> what else do we got here uh jared 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 are you going to pick up more real estate in a few months when prices crash i assume you can avoid taking out mortgages yeah so well here's the thing as the market starts to crash for uh the prices of the house the houses um that's when you want to pick things up but I mean, if you have mortgage rates, this house here, we bought this house in 2003 and the mortgage rate was 7.65 or 8.25, one of those two. And we thought we were going to steal, like I said before. So right now we're at six point something percent. Still isn't the, the most awful thing in the world, but we'll probably try to put down more cash than anything else. And, um, you know, Another plan would be is to pick these things. If, if you have a house that's going for 500,000 and there's a crash and it goes for 275, well, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, you would think so, uh, depending on the area and the and comparables. If you pick that up, maybe you had to get a loan through a bank at something, some high rate, then you just try to first pay it down as fast as possible or refinance uh, over time. I don't see a problem there. I always liked real estate over most everything. It makes makes sense. <laughs> Celsius just put out a video. What? The AMA just went kaput? No way. Son of a gun. And here we are. Hold on. Let me pull that. Let me pull it up right now. Uh, uh, uh. Hold on real quick. Uh. Well, there you go. <sighs> hmm. Well, that's... The concerning that's a shame you know you have an opportunity here you have a great opportunity here and jungle says it right they can't do an anime what would they say that's the question i want to see what they would say ah bunch of fools no look the thing is the only way to save Celsius, if you could, even if you could save Celsius, even if it wasn't insolvent, even there was problems, um, even if you were able to do that and say, okay, now we're okay and you know we're going to allow withdrawals, even through all that, would you trust Celsius now after all this stuff that's going on? You can't. You can't. You cannot. 
It's a, it doesn't make This is the same thing. I mean, remember when Ledger, they got, uh, not they got hacked, they got, um, there was a data leak about a year ago or so, and they sat on it for over a week, didn't say anything. And their reputation got, took a huge hit. Thankfully, it was a data leak and not like it was a hack where people's crypto was being lost. It was data, which happens honestly all the time if you have a, any kind of perusing of the internet. Um, some of you are a little more, more careful. but And that, they got lambasted for that and lost a lot of revenue, revenue share. Now here we are. We can't even get a response. Hmm. That is really concerning. He just did a 15 second video. What can you say in 15 seconds? We're working really hard trying to make things awesome for you guys. Refreshes YouTube. All right. Let's see. Now. And we got a link. Because I don't see it. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Nothing. Do, 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 do. Aha. And... So this is what I see. Let me share it. These are all the videos. This is from six days ago, six, seven, eight, eight, ten, so on and so forth. We could check Twitter. Oh, man, you, you know things are getting bad when Tom Hanks drops an F-bomb. F-bomb, wow. I must have invested in the crypto. Let's see. Mm, no. Um, this is all I, last thing I see is this. This is what I said to Alex just four hours ago. Make this right. Be on my channel talking about losing life savings, life expenses, and suicide. Which team is doing? Let the public know so at least there's some communication. Your tweet is hollow. That's true. But again, maybe that's what the uh, maybe that's what the uh, lawyers told them to do. Scroll up. It's the pinned tweet. Okay. Pinned tweet from June twelfth. That's a memo. Let me refresh it. Uh, no, I don't see it. So. Uh, ah, sorry. New video on their channel right now. All right. Let me refresh. I don't see it. This is Celsius. Unless they got a second channel, I don't see it. Unless they put that one down too. <laughs> oh, well, I'll find it later. Uh, let's see. Let's finish up with some Q&A. Yeah, they moved the live stream. That's a bummer. YouTube channel, Rob. Dude, I don't know. Is that not the Celsius Network YouTube channel? And that's it. Okay, I'll find it later. Any other questions before we go on? I think not much we can do. Uh, change the things that you can and have the courage not to understand, <laughs> change the things that you can and know what you cannot change and the difference between the two. We go from there. All right. Let's see. 
There's a new video on their channel. Ridiculous. Unbank yourself. <laughs> That's funny. How can we trust anyone now? We can't, period. That's the beauty. That's the whole thing. Uh, you can't trust anybody. And this is great because now moving forward, you won't trust anybody, period. Treat everything like a scam until proven otherwise. It's just one of those things, you know? It's like we saw the problem with, with uh, Luna. And it wasn't like, you know, people say, well, do your own research. The problem is like there's a lot of smart people that couldn't figure it out. There were some people that did and said this is a total Ponzi. I mean, look, uh, Mike Novogratz has been in the investing game for decades. And I know it's not just Mike Novogratz on an iPad uh, looking through a white paper going, this looks good. Let's dump a couple billion into it. It's an entire team that dissects everything and takes a look at it. Or you know what? Who knows? Maybe not. Maybe it was Mike just goes, this sounds good. 10 billion. Let's go. I don't think that's true, but if it was, it'd be crazy. So now you have to understand that nothing good is out there or nothing, not nothing good. You have to be aware of that. A lot of things are scams and rug pulls and just won't make it because it's just how businesses work. So pay attention to the ones that are, that do have longevity and are sticking around and go from there. He said, about, he said, he said about 10 words. <clears throat> well, if it was 10 words, just tell me what he said. I'm going to guess we're working real hard. If he said we're opening up withdrawals, put that in the comment section. That's the only thing I want to know. All right. Maybe it's time for us to take a walk and do something else besides looking at our portfolio and worry. I will say this. It is odd that they, that they reached out to me and we had that discussion. If it was just a straight rug pull and they were totally insolvent and couldn't do anything, they probably wouldn't reach out to anybody at all and just go from there. So we'll see. But my thought is this. Whatever you have locked up in Celsius, myself included, 3%, roughly, um, it's going to be there for a while, probably. That's it. And that's investing. Only invest what you're afraid, what you're okay to lose. Marky seriously says it just perfectly. And we'll leave it right there. It will be okay. And that's it. So look, uh, thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Sorry about that live stream thing. Hey, uh, the thought, the plot thickens and we'll go from there. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you liked today's video, thumbs up. Probably don't want to give a thumbs up to anything, but be nice. Consider subscribing. A lot of things to talk about are time sensitive and that's it for today. I'll see you guys over on Ben's channel for DCA later today. And that's it. Thanks so much, everybody. Uh, talk soon.